IBM. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing IBM. I called a put in this actually last week on the 26th. I called the 135 puts and actually you could have taken this and got out on the 26th. Now, if you are still in this, for those of you that are on the Gap Options newsletter, this was a trade I called on the newsletter. If you're still in this, again, it dropped down today and it's trying to, it already broke 133. In fact, the low today was, well, 132.90. But this definitely could continue for one more day. So again, while it's not always a good idea to hold options for the very, 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 very last day, if you're up, which you were up immediately here, then you were up and a little bit flat, and it was, it was all over the place, but this was really a nice trade. It was just a nice call. Um, and again, this is a put, and we still have plenty of time left in the day that this could break today's low, and this could be down again tomorrow. So dream target on this could go to 131, 130 if it doesn't run out of time. I mean, on the day that we did this here, actually, it was a pretty nice size bar. Pretty nice size bar here, over $5. So let's go over it. Again, I short stocks. We shorted this for a day trade, and I also call options on the Options Newsletter, which is a subscription service. So this closed here the night before at 140.76. Boom. Open in the morning here, 137.53. Again, it made a nice day trade. In and out fast. I love to short. For those of you that don't know that, I do. And then also, like I said, I called a put. You could have got in and out of this on this day and made close to 50% um, or literally been over 50%. But again, if you chose to hold it, I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with this because this did continue down more today and it looks like it's even trying to go further. So, you know, while that was a nice big move on the first day and it's great to get in and out on the gate, um, this is one that really never did anything wrong uh, at all, actually. And considering the fact that the market rallied yesterday and this fell, I mean, IBM is weak. So this was one of those ones where you really couldn't have screwed it up. <laughs> Um, but again, we have a lot going on tonight in the market. We have a lot going on tomorrow in the market. So you don't want to, you don't want to hold something too long. I will say that. Anyway, for those of you that are interested in the gap options newsletter, I call calls and punts. Again, IBM was a put. If you'd like to sign up, there is no prerequisites for the gap options newsletter. Email me at Melissa at the and go to the website at www.thestockswoosh.com for subscription prices. Have a great day, everyone.